to play with the new boat I got for my birthday. It even has a remote control to make it move. But right from the beginning, everything started going wrong. First, the boat was broken. Then I crashed. No, 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 slow down. Ah! Then I couldn't get it to go the way I wanted it to. Finally, I was ready to sail my boat again. Then I couldn't get it to go at all. It's been a really hard day. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Sailing a boat, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm trying to sail my boat, but everything keeps going wrong. Sometimes life gets hard, it's true. But we can still keep going, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hi, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. I tried to make a new cupcake and they didn't turn out the way they were supposed to. 
I forgot to add an ingredient and now they're all mushy. Which, come to think of it, is kind of perfect for our story today. <laughs> it's all about what we should do when we have a hard day. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Our true story from the Bible is about a man named Paul. Hi, Paul. Paul loved Jesus. Paul knew Jesus wanted him to love others and go here, there, and everywhere, telling the good news that Jesus wants to be everyone's friend forever. But some hard things happened. One day, Paul was on a boat. While the boat was sailing, there was a really big storm. Oh no! Can you help me make the rain? Pat your legs. First, the storm started small. Then it got bigger. Pat faster! And louder! Pat faster! But oh no! Then there was so much wind. Put your arms up like this. The boat blew this way. Move your arms this way. The boat blew that way. Move your arms that way. All of the people on the boat were afraid. Can you show me your afraid face? But look at Paul's face. He's not afraid because he knows that God is going to take care of them. So what did Paul do? He chose to love like Jesus and encourage everyone on the boat to not be afraid. Let's encourage the people like Paul and say, don't be afraid. Say that with me. Don't be afraid. But the storm was still going and they were still so afraid. All of a sudden, the boat hit some land and got stuck. Oh no! Everyone say, oh no! Oh no! The boat was stuck. But look! All of the people on the boat were safe just like Paul said. Oh no! Now, they were at a place they were not expecting to be. And their boat was broken. What is Paul going to do? Paul chose to love like Jesus. Paul helped people who were sick. He prayed for them and he told them that Jesus wants to be everyone's friend forever. Here, there, and everywhere. Wow, <laughs> what a story, right? Even though Paul had so many, oh no, hard moments, he still chose to love like Jesus and tell people that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. <laughs> and that's what we can do too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Paul loved like Jesus when things were hard. And so can you and I, too. Thanks, Dolly. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Paul went through so many hard things. But through it all, he still loved everyone and told them about Jesus. And even when it's hard, we can love like Jesus, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm going to keep trying, even though this is really hard. See you next time. Bye! Walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us. Ephesians 5, 2. Walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us. Ephesians 5, 2.
The Adventures of Christine, Finding Joy. Hmm, not here. Mm, uh oh, not here either. Hmm, I wonder. You find joy with me, Christine. God, thank you. I have finally found my joy. <laughs>